if we use all five data points, and that comes from this data table, and I remind you that if we take three points, we get these equations that give us this matrix equation. This matrix will be invertible as long as you have different t values for each y value. Okay, we don't have the same t value uh, for two different y values. In other words, as long as y is a function of t, we can do this. Whether that model is going to work for this point and this point, we don't know, but it will work perfectly for these three points. Now we want to see what to do if we use all five points. So we have these equations, which we should completely understand if we do three points. So if we do all five points, we get this matrix equation. Okay? And this matrix equation is in the form AX equals B, where X is the ABC vector that we're trying to solve for. And A, B, and C will be the numbers that we put into our quadratic model. And our quadratic model, remember, is Y equals AT squared plus BT plus C. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, we can't expect this matrix equation to have a unique solution. Uh, to even have a solution for A, B, and C. If we write this as an augmented matrix and try to reduce it, uh, if we remember how that works out, we see that we're going to get two rows of zeros when we try to reduce this part of the matrix, and there's no guarantee that we're going to get zeros on the other side of the equal sign when we reduce these numbers. It's very unlikely that these numbers will all cooperate in that way. If they do, we'll have a solution. If not, um, we don't have a solution to the equation. So, in most cases, they won't. What do we do then? Well, what we want to do is we want to find the ABC values that will give us a solution that's as close as possible to this one. So, I'm not sure I've written that down, but we want to find X, which is an ABC, such that the matrix times X is as close as possible to B. And what's B? Well, B is just the set of Y values. So that when we then <coughs> use A, B, and C for our quadratic model and plug our values of T in, and those values are in this column for reasons that you should understand. Um, and, and when we plug these values of T in, we're going to get something very close, hopefully, to these values of Y. That's our goal. So, understanding what our goal is, understanding what our matrix equation is, we're going to set this up with the four basic subspaces. And what we're actually going to end up doing is doing the projection of this B vector on the subspace over here. Well, the subspace of this vector space, which is going to have dimension 5, uh, that court that well, on the column space, okay? On the column space of the matrix A. So that, that's all I'm going to say now. I was trying to say a little more than that, but I'll, I'll stick with that because we'll develop that in more detail in the next clip when I discuss this.